welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town. And you're going to see today why we are the best town around as we work with the private sector on an effort that will benefit the school kids of Woodbridge Township. We are outside Applebee's in Woodbridge Center at our annual Stuff the Buffs effort, where Applebee's has collected dozens and dozens of backpacks to provide to kids who otherwise wouldn't have the supplies they need when they go to ba go back to school next week. Uh, Dawn uh, Marguez is the manager of Applebee's. She has been tremendous working with the town on so many different things. Uh, not only this event, but the Big Wheels Day, where she provides food for all of our public works employees. There are so many organizations that have uh, discount breakfasts here as, as fundraisers. She helps with Black History Month, you name it. Applebee's is involved in it in Woodbridge Township. She's joined today by another uh, great citizen of Woodbridge Township, which is Phil Hall. Him and the Independent Club of Colonia have adopted this as their signature project. And Phil and Dawn have worked together on this for many, many years. So let me start by asking Dawn and Phil to come up and maybe say a few words about the whole effort and, and the involvement of Applebee. So Dawn, where'd you go? Oh, oh there yeah. we are, right in front of me. Thanks very much. Go ahead. All right, so we are lucky enough to work for a company that is all about giving back to our community. Uh, Applebee's is uh, a tremendous company uh, that's always looking for opportunities to uh, get into the neighborhoods and assist kids and families and churches and organizations uh, for whatever they need, whether that's food donations, um, and in this case, Stuff the Bus, which is uh, just amazing, the amount of contributions that came from our community and what was really special this year was the amount of teachers that actually donated back to us this year and response to uh, what we've done for them all year long with uh, gift certificates for uh, tricky trays or their sporting events uh, whatever it they wanted from us, they came back this year and gave, and gave back. And so we're honored to be out in the community. My entire team uh, really stepped up to the plate and we did a pancake breakfast, we did a dine to donate, uh, we did 10% off your bill if you donated to um, Stuff the Bus. And uh, we came together and we uh, got over $2,000 uh, to donate to the Woodbridge Township School for the kids who are in need and uh, will go back to school with what they uh, want and um, be prideful for it. Um, I appreciate everybody that came from the township, the mayor, Phil Hall, superintendent, uh, the Board of Education, uh, the council people, committeemen. Um, it's just wonderful and I love working with you and I wish uh, we could do more. Thank All right. you. All right. Phil Hall. Thank you, Mayor. This is an opportunity for Woodbridge uh, just to get involved at Woodbridge Applebee's, Doherty Enterprises. And what it shows is a common goal, which is to make the town better. And we are 10 small towns, one great, great community. And it's headed by Honorable Mayor Johnny e. McCormick and his administration, and uh, the, certainly the Board of Education. We also have Joe Massimino here, who's the superintendent of Woodbridge Schools, Kyle Anderson, and he'll be uh, talking shortly, superintendent of Middlesex County Schools, and he's also president of Woodbridge Council. But more importantly, I think Dawn mentioned about the teachers, and that's an influence that Joe Massimino has had because he's seen the importance of helping the community and giving back, and that's what Applebee's does. So he reached out to his teachers, and as Dawn said, they started responding, and I even got texts and, and emails from them saying that they wanted to contribute. So it's all about, about partnerships. The Independent Club of Colonia is so proud to partner with Applebee's and all the great things they do throughout the year, but again, it all starts at top, and that's what our honorable Mayor Johnny McCormick, thank you. Thanks, buddy. We have several members of our Board of Education here. To my left is Frank Della Petro. Uh, back there in the sunglasses to the right is Nizam Mohammed. Uh, we also have Dan Harris, who's the current president of the board, and to the far right, Sue Borden, who's the current vice president of the board. And the head of the Board of Education, the top administrator, our superintendent of schools, Dr. Joe Massimino, is here. I'd like to ask him to say a few words on the importance of this program and what it means to the kids of Woodbridge Township. Doc? Thank you, Mayor. So uh, first and foremost, I want to say thank you on behalf of the Board of Education um, and Central Office. Uh, the Stuff the Bus event is an annual event. Uh, I look forward to it every year. Uh, just, I think Dawn is being very humble. Um, 
you know, you can't see it on camera, but her entire team was in part or parcel out here to, to cheer or help set up. Um, so every staff member from Applebee's truly deserves a, a thank you and, and our level of appreciation. Thank you for all that you guys do. You talk about leadership. Um, I think you have to serve in order to lead. Um, I, I think that is embodied by the, the people that are up here from Applebee's, from the town council, from the board of ed, uh, from the independent club. It, it, the list goes on and on. So uh, I just want to thank them. You know, Dawn behind me, she, so humble, um, so giving. I, I can't think of a better partner. Um, everybody from Applebee's who, who just continues to support our district and give back. This is the district that um, I'm fortunate to lead. This has been my home for 45 years, so, so Woodbridge is a special place to me for a whole lot of reasons. Uh, and, and I just want to say on behalf of everybody, thank you. It, 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 takes a, it takes a village, and, and I appreciate being part of that, so thank you. And as Phil Hall said, our council president, Kyle Anderson, is also the Middlesex County Superintendent of Schools, and he knows what these programs mean because he oversees 25 other school districts. Kyle, would you like to say a few words? Sure. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, first, I'd like to thank uh, Dawn and, and Phil for their leadership around this program. Um, you know, being uh, in addition to my other uh, responsibilities, I've been the uh, leader for a uh, youth football and cheer program for the last 20 years. And, um, you know, this Applebee's, when, you, when they first opened up, uh, they came out and they asked us for all the pictures from the kids in the community. And still, when you go back in there, they've updated the pictures. Um, it's a very uh, a welcoming place for our families to come and maybe see some of their friends or some of their family members, uh, their pictures on the wall, and then participating in some type of activity. That's where the sense of community begins in a place like this. Um, and all of the people that are here have uh, worked together, I think, to help make this community a great place. This stuff, the bus project, is just a, um, a microcosm of what this community does when they work together. Um, but it starts with the leadership that you have here. And, uh, you know, the mayor behind us supports all of these projects. So when you have a lot of talented people and they go out and do those things, that's what leadership is about. You're willing to, to trust other people to go out and do great things and bring this town together. And it's great when we all can come and recognize each other. So thank you very much and stuff the bus. All right, now the queen of backpacks in Woodbridge Township is Lizbeth De Jesus, a councilwoman at large who uh, started, I guess, seven or eight years ago, started Backpack Drives. Uh, first one was in Caseby, then it expanded to Hope Lawn. We just uh, went out and did them not long ago. Uh, we had over five backpacks, uh, 500 backpacks donated by Evangel Church and had two wonderful drives. She's joined by the king of backpacks, uh, Dan Harris, who is, as I said, the board of ed president. Let me ask those two to come up right now and just give, give people a your thoughts about what it would be like if you're a kid and you go to school and you have nothing and all the other kids have something and now they have something because of people like Applebee's. Go ahead. Um, I want to say thank you to Applebee's, um, to the Board of Ed, Township Council and everybody that's here. I think it's very important. Uh, our township, our school system is a public school system. For me it's very important that all the children are going the first day knowing that they have everything that they need to have a successful school year. And that's why we, we do it, and we've made a commitment to do it every year. Um, the mayor mentioned KSB and Hope Lund. That's where we started. Um, we keep hoping to move mm -hmm. um, to other parts of town. However, when we started, it was just KSB and Hope Lund. Now, this year, there were multiple organizations in town, multiple um, groups giving backpacks or having backpack drives for kids in our community. So. It's great. This is a great example of how government, school, the school system, Department of Education, and community work together to make sure that our kids have what they need to start the school year. And that's why it's so important. We want to make sure, I believe, I'm a product of public education. I believe in public education. And I want every child that goes to Woodbridge Township Schools to know that we well, if they don't have the, the supplies, that we are there to meet that need. It's important that they start their year not worrying about having the basic needs. So I'm so grateful and so thankful to everyone in our township that comes together to make sure that our children have what they need. 
Go ahead, Dan. Try to top that. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Now, when you're batting uh, clean up here, there's not much left to say. Uh, but uh, we have nearly 14,000 students, and as Dr. Massimino had alluded to, it takes a village. So we're, we're truly appreciative to all the donors, not only to, to this Applebee's, but to all the other uh, organizations that are collecting school supplies and donating them back to us, as you see behind us. As uh, Elizabeth, uh, Councilwoman DeJesus, said to me when we got started here, she says, Dan, look at all the school supplies. Five, ten years ago, we we're, were scrounging for money and we're doing the shopping ourselves. Now, and the now, stuffing. And yeah, and the stuffing, and the stuffing uh, with the help of the mayor's office. Now, now the supplies are coming to us because uh, the, the, the message has gotten across that every student matters and every student should get uh, started on the right foot. So on behalf of my board colleagues and I, we, th we thank the community for all your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're also joined by Chief of Staff Carolyn Ehrlich, a former council person, and you know You've seen it in our office when we have the conference room filled, backpacks here, pencils here, notebooks here, you know, staplers over here, everything. Um, one thing we didn't touch on, we also have an extra supply of them, if you want to say a few words, that kids move into the district after opening day. Mm -hmm. And that's just as important that they have it on that day. You want to talk about that? Sure. Yeah. So I want to start off, of course, by thanking Applebee's and Dawn and the constant support uh, for every kind of giving project that we have in town. And um, the Independent Club of Colonia, it's close to my heart, also close to my home, and always looking for what kind of good deeds that they can do. And in, in Woodbridge, we have children who have needs, great needs. And this backpack drive serves one of those needs. And as the mayor says, as people come in and they move in, we still want to be able to have backpacks available. So sitting in one of our conference room, we have boxes of stuff so we can put it together and give it out. And flashing back to the beginning of this drive, the, the large conference table, we, we would have an assembly line filling them up ourselves. And um, it was fun because we were working together and doing a, a good thing together. And we couldn't have a meeting for a month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so it, it's just always the good feeling of giving. And it's ongoing taking care of our students. There's so many who... Um, don't have food scarcity and we have teachers who are helping and filling up food bags for them and we're always always looking to see how we can help our children so every one of them has a full stomach and a full backpack Why don't you so thank you everybody kelly. how about kelly mention what kelly's done with the boxes with kelly amiano from school 19. oh Okay, so School 19 is phenomenal. They actually have um, bags and different restaurants and Wegmans. They have different people who contribute. And they have the bags and everybody puts into the bag. They collect it. And there's no stigma there because all the kids are helping. Everybody's helping. Each kid is helping another. And the kids get to take these bags of full of food home. And we have um, little food pantries, I guess you call them, where um, throughout the town there are places where you can put in food if somebody needs it and they could just quietly take it themselves. So all over town, there are ways to help people, our children, our families, and our seniors. So thank you, everybody who's a part of this. Thanks. And Liz reminded me that also in the tragic case of fires, floods, where people are removed from their home and they lose things, the backpack drives provide those. The next day, they're given backpacks and things like that. So it's just wonderful. So Dawn, once again, on behalf of the Township of Woodbridge, on behalf of our colleagues in the Board of Education, thank you for everything you've done. Phil Thanks, Hall, Mayor. thank you Appreciate for everything it. you've done, buddy. You're always there. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I just want to acknowledge uh, my team who's going to present the check. Uh, over so uh, Antonio, Kenya, Cyan, and John. Really appreciate your efforts in this, and uh, we're so happy to have you. A little closer. Superintendent. It took all three of us. This bathroom. There we go.